every day is a day that day has been missing and, and each day feel exactly the same, painful. It's an unfortunate bond that this group shares and the reason they've all gathered. And the community is the unity that we're bringing together. The families that has been out there searching, passing out flyers, uh, helping with the efforts in every way that they can. We're uniting them together uh, to join us, the family of the missing, uh, where you guys can share our stories, hear our stories, and uh, get it out to the public. Their loved ones have either passed away or are still missing. David Robinson leading the virtual vigil, reflecting on memories of his missing son, Daniel, saying although they lived on opposite sides of the country, Daniel would always call his father. The two-hour conversation is what I miss with Daniel. He's always inquisitive, like I say, always asking me questions. He's telling me about his dreams and aspirations. Tonight, sharing stories of their missing loved ones. They also read out the names of several other missing people's cases to raise awareness. They also share tips and advice for families and friends during these challenging times. I want to do everything I can to help them uh, also be heard. Also in attendance was Joseph Petito. His daughter Gabby drew national attention when she went missing in September after a cross-country trip with her fiancé. Her remains were later found in a National Park in Wyoming. Her fiance also went missing before taking his own life. A notebook was later found near his body admitting that he had killed her. There's a lot of people missing that that, that need help. It's about getting the you know the names out there, the faces out there so people could see him, you know, understand what they look like.